Greetings and salutations, sports fans. Thanks for tuning into The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Make sure you follow me on all things social media at JRayTheFanatic. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Five seasons, 72 starts, 121 touchdown passes. Of course, there were 88 interceptions and 28 wins and 42 losses. This is the all over the place legacy Jameis Winston is leaving behind. While I may be one of the few people who thinks Jameis Winston still deserves a starting job in this league, I can't say I'm surprised at those who disagree. So let's take a look at some of the amazing highs and the consistent lows from the former first round draft pick. When Jameis Winston took to Twitter to say, it's been a great five seasons as a Buccaneer, all love and respect. I love Tampa and I look forward to seeing y'all again in February. Hashtag Super Bowl 55. Hashtag 2020 vision. Hashtag dream forever. I can co-sign on the 2020 vision because you should maintain a positive outlook and he should be a dreamer forever. But how is this Super Bowl 55 thing going to happen? It's not going to happen for Tom Brady in Tampa Bay and it's doubtful it will happen at Winston's new home. But maybe he's reminiscing about the start of the 2019 season when he threw for three interceptions exceptions for the loss against the Super Bowl bound 49ers. Now, in his defense, one of the interceptions was deflected, but since we are here, let's reminisce back to a time when Richard Sherman was still trying to convince us he was the best corner in the league, even though this pass went straight to him. But like I said, with the lows comes the highs. Jameis Winston threw for 5,109 yards last season. That is 207 yards more than Dak Prescott, who led the league's number one offense. And he completed 39.1% of his passes, still more than Dak and Tom Brady. But still, those interceptions have to make you nervous, especially when he airs out deep bombs like this one to Mike Evans in the 55 to 40 win against the Rams. But I have to say, my favorite thing about Winston is seeing what he can do when he is under pressure and on the move. Now, sadly, a lot of Winston's interceptions went right to the defender and he is clearly at fault. But this, yeah, I don't know what the hell this is. Kyler Murray, Matt Ryan, and Russell Wilson are all tied for the most sacks last season at 48. Winston is right behind them with 47, but trust me, he is not going down without a fight. Call me crazy, but if I'm Tom Telesco, this play and the other 33 touchdown passes definitely puts Winston on my short list. And why not? Tom Brady snubbed you. What better way to snub him right back than to get the guy who threw nine more touchdowns and over a thousand more yards than the GOAT himself? Now, I know what you're thinking. The Patriots were 12-4, and four and they went to the playoffs. The Buccaneers, eh, they were 7-9. and nine. But horseshoes and hand grenades, people, neither made it to the big show. And let's not forget the leader of the best offense in the league was barely accurate beyond 10 yards before Amari Cooper and before Kellen Moore became the quarterback coach. Create the perfect storm here in L.A., and who knows? Maybe next season we see more of this and less than, I don't know, 10 of these. Come on, that was just a great read. Could have happened to anybody. Somebody give Winston a chance. Good or bad, the man is just fun to watch. But what say you, Fumble fam? Are the amazing feats from Jameis Winston enough to get him a job, or is the bad just a little too ugly for consideration? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.